Um, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Jalen Wilson back with Line I Fan Rants, and this is a week two preview for the Illinois, um, for the Purdue at Illinois matchup. And this matchup is it means a lot for Illinois fans just because we lost big last week to Wisconsin 45 7. Didn't even score those seven points on offense, should I mention? It was a defensive touchdown the way we scored. Um, but this is just a, a um a week two preview, and and I'm gonna mention stuff uh, that Illinois needs to do to beat Purdue. I mean, I'm gonna mention some of last week that Illinois needs to do and get better at going into this week. And one of those things is play call. Rod Smith, bro, you came in, you were hyped up to be this excellent play caller, this quarterback guru. This dude that was so great with quarterbacks. But, man, you've been terrible at play calling. You weren't that good last year. You wasn't good last week. Um, Offense, offense didn't even get in the red zone. I don't believe. If they did, I don't remember when. And then you add on zero points on offense. Your defense was the only thing that scored. That's should be ashamed of yourself as a play caller, as an offensive coordinator. Um, even the players on offense should be ashamed of themselves. Uh, so play call needs to be better. I was gonna say ch- change up the way y'all run the offense because because he because Ross Smith likes to run a lot of no huddle type offense to where you're not huddling up and getting the play call all in. Like he 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 just gets up to the line. Get the play call going. Well, uh, uh, um, no, no huddle type offense, and that's the offense. Brandon Peters doesn't need to run. He needs to. You need to allow Brandon Peters to get in a huddle. He's not a dual threat quarterback, so I don't know why we're running a fast paced dual threat type of offense with a quarterback that's not a dual threat. He's a pocket passer. I mean, I know he can. He he had eighty seven. I mean, Brandon Peters had eighty seven yards last week on the ground. That's not bad, but he's not a runner. He's not known as a runner. Why try to make him run? Let him throw. And Brandon Peters needs to be better. He needs to go through through his progressions. That's something he did not do last week, and he admitted that. Shout out to him. He's good enough to, to admit where he was wrong at last game. Um. Also, he needs to – well, he doesn't need to, but Luke Ford needs to make it siding. I mean, I know it ain't all his fault, but, you know, you, you was known as this big hype coming out of Georgia, and you didn't do nothing. You got targeted once, which not your fault again, but if you can't get open, then how am I going to target you? Uh, Brandon Peters really needs to look at other receivers. It was a play last week where you had Dine Navarre wide open. I mean, dude was, dude was on the sideline by himself on a wheel route. Did not throw it to him. I do not know why. I can't explain why he didn't do that. Uh, run game needs to get going. Besides Brandon Peters running for no 87 yards, we had no running back last week. Basically, I mean, we had a running back, of course, but we didn't have one that can hit the hole and get a first down. Um, defense needs to be better. Hopefully, um, Devon Witherspoon is back in action this week. Uh, I know he didn't play last game. Which hurt us because I thought we were gonna play a little um, nickel defense with, with with three corners out there and not a cover two type defense, which I don't like because the basic cover two for Illinois hasn't worked, will never work with them type of linebackers. Uh, with those safeties, uh, speaking of safeties, Derek Smith, you need to be better. Uh, you were known as this big pickup last November, October. Uh, um, out of the transfer portal, out of Miami, the U. You were known as this big pickup. You got benched last week because you allowed a deep ball right before half. Sidney Brown, you need to be better. You need to be more aware when a man is going deep. You 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 are supposed to be a a free safety. You don't play like a free safety. Nate Hobbs quit biting on quit. Biting too hard on on play after play. It was one instance where actually the whole defense needs to quit doing that. Uh, 
it was the first touchdown of the game against Wisconsin. Well, not against Wisconsin. That Wisconsin scored against Illinois to where to where Nate Hobbs, you saw him creep down all the way like it was going to be a run. And the receiver, and they snapped, Wisconsin snapped the ball, and the receiver ran right past them, scored a touchdown. Also, they left the tight end for Wisconsin open twice because, because they bit too hard like they always do. I'm tired of that. Um, but that's the thing that Illinois needs to get better. Purdue against Purdue won against Iowa 24-20. An impressive win, especially with the head coach being out due to COVID and and um Rondell Moore being injured. Um, they're both expected to be back this week. So Nate Hobbs, you're probably gonna be covering Rondell Moore. Expect to have your your hands full. You're a good corner though, so um, as long as you don't bite too hard sometimes, which you can, but you can make some good plays at the same time, you should be good. You should be good. Um, of course, Rondell Moore is a good receiver, so, so he's going to get his, of course. But this Purdue offense did good. I mean, they produced, I believe it was, 400-plus yards last week, and that's good against the Iowa. I mean, I know this is an Iowa team who has a different quarterback from last year, but Iowa still played good. Also, this Purdue defense forced two turnovers, two forced fumbles. And this is a better Purdue team from last year that Illinois faced and blew out uh, like 24-10, if I'm not mistaken. So this will be a challenge. It looks like Illinois could be bottom feeders if they lose this game. But then they'll be 0-2 in the Big Ten West and Rutgers. Got a win against Michigan State last week. Rutgers. Greg Shiano got them boys playing. Um, but Illinois, y'all need to bounce back. Y'all, y'all, y'all need to try to keep the ball out of Rondell Moore hands. That that's a key to the game. Um, I don't know what the weather conditions will be like, so I don't know what Illinois would would need to stop the run or not. Uh because, you know, usually if it's like bad weather, you know, teams like to run the ball. So I don't know what the weather conditions are gonna be like, but if it's not, I expect Purdue to try to air the ball out more because they saw uh, receivers are able to get behind this Illinois secondary and and score. I mean, you can't help but think Purdue is going to be like, oh, we get Rondell back next year, next week. Um, they're going to try to make him – well, we're going to try to draw plays for him to get behind this secondary that hasn't – that didn't play good last week. They didn't play good really last year, and they allow lots of big plays. Um, but that's something that needs to be fixed before uh, before week two. Um, Illinois needs to really produce turnovers. They they only produced one last week. Uh, it was a good one because they were returned for the only touchdown of the game for Illinois. But still, they still if if Illinois can force a fumble and get a pick, that would be good. I mean, I just wouldn't be mad at one turnover, but. This Illinois offense clearly needs help from the defense. And I'm not saying they, they, they need the defense to get stops because the defense got stops last game at times. But at the same time, they also got torched. But, but last year, you saw when Illinois got turnovers, they usually got turnovers, and the offense usually got seven or three out of that. And that's what Illinois uh, offense needs, you know, because they might need a little assistance because the play calling isn't right. The the quarterback progressions isn't right. And I don't know. But, yeah, this Illinois offense is, is going to need a lot of help. It needs to get better. Um, I assume this, this Illinois team would be 1-0. and oh. Remember that uh, with my prediction last week. Boy, was I way off. I'm glad I did not bet on that game. But if you're an Illinois fan, do not bet on this game. Uh, but in that case, I mean, since this is just a preview, I mean, I'm gonna give y'all my score prediction. Uh, I think Rondell Moore would do will get his. Um, last week the Purdue rushing game accounted for, I believe, is about 150 yards, which is good. Uh, this Illinois offense last week came out flat. They did nothing. The the way they start the game is 
with a fumble. And that's how it felt like it ended. Like, it was just bad taste in the mouth. Um, this is this Illinois offense needs to be better. Um, um, I expect them to try to come out, try to come out fast paced just because it's Ross Smith's offense. And I expect them to try to score. Um, I expect Brandon Peters to look to go through his progression more, look at at least two two receivers on the field and not just uh, Josh Matter Bebe. I mean, he is the best receiver on the field for Illinois, so I get why you got to go to him so many times, but he targeted Josh Matter Bebe 10 times last week. The, the next per, the next highest person on the team that had the most targets was Diane Navarro with three targets. That is a seven target drop off. You can't have that type of top, you can't have that type of target drop off. I'm sorry. Unless Josh Matter Baby is just having a great game, but he didn't last week. He dropped I think two balls last week. Um yeah, but this other offense can't come out flat. They need to come out high energy, just ready to score. Uh, this Purdue defense forced two turnovers last week, so I expect them to try to force turnovers now again. And Illinois does have a fumbling problem. We saw they fumbled uh, the second play of the game last week, so so, so expect them to try to knock the ball out. Um, this Illinois defense needs to be better. Uh, hopefully, uh, Lovey doesn't run the cover two, the basic cover two. It's, it's not like a a, a real Oh, uh, it's not a real hard cover two to figure out. It's a basic cover two, and I don't like it. But I expect him. It's it's Lovey Smith, so and I know that the the defense he loves to run and it's the cover two, and I expect him to run it again this week. I mean, hopefully Tony Alves. You know, if Devon with this one is healthy, Tony Alves will be back at safety. But I mean, I still think he's better at corner. Uh, but yeah, this Illinois defense needs to be better. Um, I really think they're gonna come out, uh, get at least three stops in the first five possessions. So I think this Purdue, this Purdue offense will score some. They'll try to throw the ball deep. This Illinois offense will, they might score some. I'm, I'm not guaranteeing. Shoot, we thought they were gonna score against Wisconsin. They never did. Uh, but this. This on the office and it needs to connect on all cylinders, and that's what they need to do to win next week. Because the defense is going to get the stops. The defense got some stops last week, uh, but sadly the Illinois offense just couldn't keep up. Uh, but my score prediction for this game is um, Illinois twenty-eight, Purdue twenty-four, and. And this been your boy Jalen Wilson with Real Ones Productions. And I'm signing out. Peace.